purpose. Maybe that's another level of technology that we are seeing there. My producer will explain that later. <laughs> Let me welcome the guests, the one we have in the studio with us here today, Chief Osita Chidoka, uh, the commercial and chief executive officer of the Federal Road Safety Corps. Good to see you, sir. Mon, sir Thank you very say. much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the court orders have been quick in coming. Uh, the first one was in March, I think. Mm. That was when the Federal High Court in Lagos. In Lagos, yes. Uh, yes. Four said you cannot proceed with what you are trying to do. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, I think it was in May, May mm -hmm. 20 something, I can't remember precisely now, that Justice Adeniji Adimola, also in the federal, uh, sitting in the federal court in Abuja, uh, mm -hmm. said you cannot proceed with what you wanted to do. Uh, well, that's not what the court said. Um, okay. What Try the court said. Um, clear the air. Please. Yeah, what the court said. Somebody went to the court and said that the FRC has threatened to arrest me on the 30th of June if I do not change from the old number plate to the new one. Yes. And that in that threat, he's saying that the number plate I already have was validly gotten, and there is no law that has invalidated that my number, making it compulsory for me to change. So the issue before the court was not legality or not of the number. It is that there is no law invalidating the old one. Therefore, I should not arrest him if he doesn't change to the new one. The court should give him an injunction. Okay. So the court quickly granted him an injunction saying FRSC should not arrest this person because there is no law invalidating that old one and making it a crime for you not to have that old one. Okay. Of I, course. I, I'm just trying to see if I could. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not so sure I have the paper here. Yes. I was just trying to see whether that's correct with what the judge was actually quoted as saying. As saying yes. yes. But uh, from your interpretation, that's what happened. Yes, we've gone on a, we are going on appeal because, you see, we felt that the judge did not, was not averted to the tower regulations that has created the new number plate and has made it a crime for anybody to drive a car without those new number plates. Um, so there is a crime, there is a punishment, there is a law invalidating the old one. Now, the arguments of the lawyer who went to court was interesting because he said that the, jo the, the, the 2004 um, regulations of FRSC that created the old number yeah. was saved in the 2012. They said all actions done pursuant to the 2004 are deemed to have been correct. Yes, they are but not from the date of the starting of this 2012 um, regulation. So the courts will sort that out. But there was no yeah, issue but, of but the legality I, of the I, number I, I plates. I thought I, uh, I also understood the judge as saying that, uh, the, the, that there's, the regulations are not based on any existing law. <laughs> no, so you, and no. That, so he said there is no that. regulation on that particular issue, on that topic. He said there is no law made portion to the 1999 constitution to invalidate that old numbers. So if I get it correctly, but my lawyers are, are our lawyers okay, are so the, court, the case is on so appeal. It's an appeal, yes. Okay. But it, mean, it doesn't mean the people are still buying the new number plates. People are willing to I'm just wondering whether you didn't have changing. the opportunity of uh, conversing a defense in the two instances. Because when it happened first, yes. in the I think it was instance, a lawyer that went to court in Lagos. Yes. In Abuja, it's also a lawyer that went to court. In the second instance, was even strange. In the second instance, uh, in the first instance, we raised preliminary objections, saying the man has no locals, is no this. The judge overruled all of that and went to judgment and gave his judgment. Okay. In the second instance, the man said, I'm aligning myself with the judgment, with the judgment in Lagos. Of March. Uh, of March in Lagos. Even when he, the person went to court and said that I threatened. And my lawyer said I didn't. Show, show evidence that you threatened. The man even accepted the newspaper value. But anyway, those are matters for the courts to okay. decide. So, so where for has me, that left, those two judgments, where has it left no, it the, the yeah. deadline now? Because the, the deadline well, was supposed to be end of this month. Yeah, no, the deadline is on, but we're not yeah. going to enforce it. We've got the judge have restrained us from arresting anybody. Okay. For not having the new number plate, so we're not going to arrest anybody for not having. But the it stands new number to reason plate. that anybody, okay, that's for the number plate. Number plate. But yes. what about the the driver's license component of it? Yeah, the driver's license is a, is much simpler. Every three years, you are going to renew your driver's license. So court order or no court so order. So if, you if your have a court order, license, license is expired, you'll be forced to go you go for the new the one new anyway. One. There's no old one, so <laughs> there's only one license. And also, people always say that they bought a number plate and it is permanent and they cannot change it. But actually, every year you pay a licensing fee to the state authorities. You pay an annual licensing fee called particulars, what is popularly called particulars.
Okay. Every year you pay an annual licensing fee. That fee is to allow you to keep driving that car on that's the road. Where, that's where you <laughs> go to renew your, your vehicle particulars. Particular. Your vehicle particulars. There's, a, there's an amount already built in it. There's an amount. So you are renewing your number plates every year. You are renewing your right to use the road every year. Mm. It, it's not when you buy it, it's permanent. Mm. The driver's license is every three years. You go back and renew it. But the vehicle is every year. And the states are saying when you come to renew your um, Num your particulars, as we call it, then we will give you the new number plates. It's an additional 10,000 Naira cost. So the number plates do not sell for 40,000. It doesn't sell for 50,000, as they say. It sells for 10,000 by the states. Yeah. But what do you think is responsible for situations where people pay much more? Is it not because of the policy that you announced much earlier that there is a deadline, you must do this between this period? No. Therefore, stampede people to want to I mean, no. being desperate Let me explain and it to, to you. get it. What happens cost. is that when you go to change your new number plate, you yes. need to change your particulars. In every state, it's about between 23,000 and 30,000, depending on the state, for annual licensing fees. Now, so if you change your new number, you need to change your particulars to reflect the new number. So even if you pay 10,000 for the number plate, you need to pay the 20 something thousand for the particulars, annual licensing fees. Mm. So if you look, they have issued receipts for all those payments, including 10000 for the number plates. Okay. So people are keep mixing up that. When yeah. you pay for your annual licensing fee, and then you pay for your number plate, the number plates sold by the states are sold for 10000 naira. But their annual licensing fee, which includes roadworthiness certificate, annual licensing charge, road proof, tax, proof and of proof ownership, of ownership, all those, all those fees that you pay, yeah. Is what is tied together because as you get the new number, okay. your whole details change. Okay. People just think that once so they are handed a new set of number plates, plate, that, that that that's what they had paid that huge paid. amount no, for. You, had, you didn't pay it for that. Okay, let's yes. let's look at the the. the so really, you yeah. shouldn't change your number plate before Unless your particulars expire. Okay. Because if you do it, then when your particulars expire, you, you need to pay see. again. So you need but to do it together you pay with just, your, to renew just to renew your particulars and then get a new number plate. That way, you, you only incur an additional 10,000 Naira cost. Okay. Let's look at the, the new number plate component of it. Uh, it's personalized. Yes. Which means it's for me forever so long as I pay to yes. renew it every year. Yes. What happens when I want to dispose of that car? Say I want to sell it, for example. Mm. So you take the number back, and you can register it to another car if you want. Or you can return it to the state authorities and say, I'm done with this number. Well, when I'm I registering it, it, I'll be forced to pay again. I'm, you pay the licensing fees. For the, yes, for that the licensing fees for the, the car. The particular for the yeah, new car. For the new car. I, I will be paid for the number plate plates, again, because yes. I already have one. You have already have one. Okay. But if you are not buying a new car, if you don't want to transfer it to a new car, then you return it to the state authorities and say, you know, I'm done with this number. That way, anything that happens with that number in any form will not be linked to you. So you, okay. you want your name to be delinked from this number. In other words, it is dangerous for somebody who is selling a car yes. to sell it with the, with with the, the number, number plate. Yes, it's very because dangerous. whatever happens about that car will it's be still linked back to you. To you yes. Because it's, it's still still registered you. in, your, in name. your name. Do, so do that's why people, in, uh, do you in think foreign, people understand this? Well, we've been explaining well. it. We've been explaining it. Um, I, if you look at um, other jurisdictions, when people are selling a car, like in the U.S. or in most European countries, you find them taking you to the state motor ve to the motor vehicle authority office. They will take that number plate back, give it to the state authority, and then allow you to register your car. So that way, when the street traffic cameras, because you see, what has happened is that. Um, I don't know. Sometimes it's good to ask the people what do they really want. And I always give this example <laughs> of the issue of man. You know, we Nigerians like to eat omelets and we don't want eggs. to break eggs. eggs. <laughs> so I remember the coach of Man City football team asking the, for the, t uh, the supporters, what do you want me to do for you? And 67% said, defeat Man U. That's all we want. <laughs> he, they said, what of UEFA Cup? They said, we don't want. Premiership, we don't want. Just defeat Man U. Well, in the course of defeating Man U, he got the premiership. But the club went viral when he defeated Man U for them. So I, I, I figured out that in Nigeria, maybe some of us as in leading positions should be going to find out from Nigerians, what do we really want? If Nigerians say that we don't want to have records, that somebody can knock down a child and run away with his car, and if you take the number, it will lead you to anywhere, then we leave it that way if that's what Nigerians want. 
But I want to believe, because every time Nigerians talk to me, they tell me, when I went to Saudi Arabia, once the camera catches you, the people will find you immediately. When I went to London, the people, people cannot turn left yeah. when they when you are a going police, right. A police car is following you behind. You behind. Meanwhile, yes. inside his own car, there's a camera that has captured your number All plate your already. Plate and, and he's processing and it into a computer Absolutely. that is also in his car. And he's bringing out your identity. If you are right. a wanted person, right there in his car, he knows. And he knows what to do next. So maybe the mistake we are making in Nigeria is assuming that everybody wants progress and everybody wants development. But I am determined that by the time I leave the Federal Road Safety Corps, that the FRSC will have the basic ingredients mm. of what makes for a good motor vehicle administration, which is you have to know the driver. Yeah, okay, look at it now. We are talking about people arrested in um, Abia. Yeah. And we are arguing, are they Nigerians are traders, or not? Some are they are traders, traders or not? We, uh, very soon there will be retaliation in the north. Where do you argue things, about those things anywhere in the world? Only for the military to now say that, actually, one of them is one of the Boko Haram commanders that have been declared wanted since. See that? So, that is the question. Why do you argue about people? If our local governments have done death and birth register, why would you argue whether Osita Chidoka is from Anambra State? If my birth had been registered and recorded properly, if my national ID card is working, why do you need to ask who I am? If I'm a trader, then I'll bring evidence that I'm a trader. If I'm not, the board will see it. So what I'm saying is that we have gotten to the stage where we can build a modern economy, a modern country, on top of an agrarian <laughs> culture. We have passed the stage where people will be saying, where is your house? Oh, it's near St. Peter's Church in Nanya. Uh, it's near that, um, you know um, that fruit tree that is by the corner? Two electric uh -huh. bulls after that. After that. that. <laughs> we have to stop all those things. We okay. have to become a modern e a society. W w one more question on this uh, new number plate. Now, if I'm selling a car, like I said, yes. I remove my number because it is personalized and it's registered in my name. Yes. The new buyer, what does he do? He registers the car. New. Does that car already not have an identity which yes. I have stripped it off? Yes. Because I, I, I know that part of the particulars that are registered with that number are the chassis number and the engine number of the car. Is it not true? Correct. But you see, if you sell the car with the number and the person doesn't go back to go and change it, as most people don't bother to do, so the details in the car will keep reading Osita Chidoka. And you have, uh, you, um, I have sold it to you, yeah. but you didn't go back to change. But if I take away the number plate, you can't drive the car without a number plate. That's when you go in and we key in your uh, engine number and chassis number, it will pop up immediately. This will not, the system. They will then ask questions, how then, did you come so about it? you will give us the sale of the vehicle okay. and the transfer of ownership. Oh, damn. So we give you a new proof of ownership certificate in your name and give you a new number plate. The state governments will do that. We will capture all the data. Because don't forget, in all of this, there is nowhere so you have So I don't have to give him the old them. proof of ownership? No. It's just you a, proof, a of new one. proof that I you, sold the car. Yes. To you. Just give him receipts that you sold the car and all the proof of everything. Uh, probably an attestation. You go in attestation. Then you go in and you register the car. What has happened so far now is that there have been many cases where we called, we handed over to the police, people who are trying to register cars that have been previously registered. Yes. And we contact the owner based on the phone number they provided. The woman in Lagos told us the car was snatched by armed robbers. Wow. So we quickly handed the man over to the police. We've done it in many cases now because once you come in to register the car again, the data will come up. This car has been registered before. Mm -hmm. So we ask, are you, did you buy this car newly or are you, and if not, we'll hand you over to the police. So the important thing in this country is for the databases to be strong. I think that in the next few years, Nigeria's greatest assets will be the data we've collected. It's unbelievable. Because by the time you bring the SIM card registration, you bring the vote, INEC voters register, you bring the driver's license, you bring the international passport, <laughs> and then you bring the international... If somebody does not occur in any of these five, then that person must be a strange person. <laughs> because if you don't have a phone, how manage? You are, 30, you are 30 and you don't have a phone. You are 25, you don't have a driver's license. You don't have an international passport. How did you get this far? How have you been surviving <laughs> in Nigeria? So it means that when people are doing fingerprint matching, you collect fingerprint from a crime scene, you already have five independent databases to match it with. So instead of criticizing this, people are talking about the cost. I say there is no cost. The cost of the war we are having in Burundi is huge compared to the cost of having data that would make people desist from, from crime. Mm. 
So I think that the current administration has gotten a very good base for Nigeria. Mm. Three major things that are going to be driving it, the IPPIS that they are doing, the salary payroll for the civil servants, the single account of the government, mm. and the national ID card that we are currently investing in, these are going to Anywhere be game changers. And the the, the e-system will, will capture you, you somehow. Will capture you. And the banks are now doing it too for the banks. So what I think should be the headache of Nigerians is to make sure that we are capturing it on the same platform, that they can speak to one another. All right. Now, I'm going to go to the next stage, which is the driver's license component mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you how it has also worked to affect me in a way. Yes. Which is what you just said. If you go to bank, they, they require these all in, an, in the means of at least plugging into one of those yes. databases. Now, one of the databases that banks these days try to key easily in is the database of the FRSA. Yes. In which case, you want to do something, they ask for your driver's license. Yes. That's the first thing they ask for. Yes. It is only when you say you don't have that they ask for any other thing. Now, I did have to transfer just a small amount of money, and I was told to bring my driver's license. I have raised this issue the last time you were here, I think about a year ago, mm. my situation has not improved. I still carry about a temporary driver's license, which is supposed to have a 60-day supposed to have a 60-day life. Mm. I have gone to Mabushi, which is the only cent VIO center in Abuja, where you are supposed to collect the permanent one, where yes. I did the biometrics and everything. Yes. Every time I have been there, they tell me my driver's license is not there. It's not ready. Mm. Each time I make contact with your men, they, they tell me we have processed it. It is with VIO. It is with VIO. Yes. Now, as you can see there, mm. this temporary uh, driver's license has yes. expired more than a year ago. Yes. And that is still the only thing I fall on whenever I'm stopped on the road. But it didn't help me when I wanted to do a bank, bank transaction because I was clearly told that they cannot use this because it's a temporary ID card, a temporary driver's license, and it has expired. Yes. Um. I want to believe, and I wish I can um, get um, one of my staff here to quickly just check on my iPad the status of this license. I want to believe that this license has been produced. I was actually told yes. by one of your men, yes. they actually forwarded the particulars to me, the particulars of the registration of the permanent one, yes. which I copied and took to VIO, yes. yet they told me they don't have it. Mm, you see, that's the problem. Um, the problem that we have with the state authorities is that some of them have not found a way of um, of automating their process. So when they receive number plates, when they receive driver's license, they have a pie. When people come, they start going through it one by one. Uh, when and we have told them we send this tired. thing with a software. We send it with a soft copy. All you need to do is to have a system in front of you, key in the person's name, and see whether his name is in the list you have. And then you can allow, allow the licenses to be in some order, maybe by alphabetical, by alphabetical order. So you just go down there and pick it up. So we've had that challenge in a lot of places. And can you please tell VIO them. now so that at least they must, somebody somewhere there? Well, I've been, must telling the, you. I've been telling the FCT minister and I've been talking with him and he has um, promised to make changes. I believe that what we are going to get and um, in fact, it's interesting here yeah, from Middle State, the best VA, MVA, it, yeah, sorry, it's um, we are close. Uh, yes, you yeah, are close by. Mm. Um, the best motor vehicle administration we have in Nigeria is in Edo State. Wow, why so? The chairman of the board of internal revenue of Edo takes it oh, as a personal uh, Elama. Elama, yeah, amazing guy. I'm the second sure best, doing very wonderful the second best is Boronu State. Really? Yes. In spite of Boko Haram? In spite of Boko Haram, the best registration data we collect is from Boronu State. The chairman of the Boronu State Board of Internal Revenue, when he comes to meeting others, are arguing, he said, no, we don't have any problem. I log into the system. I see the people that have paid. I collect all their data. It's amazing. So this has so come to tell doing, me what about... What are they doing rightly this has come to that tell others me about, are not yes, doing? it has to tell me about the individuals, the power of individuals. When we talk about institutions, institutions can be deceptive because yeah. you can have all the accoutrements accruement, of an institution. And then the individuals but without individuals the not riding it, it will not work. Mm -hmm. Nobody registers a car in a do state without proper insurance, without, a proper, um, without them seeing the car. You can't do that in a do state. So this is the kind of thing. That's um, aggressive internal, yes. internal generation, well, but, internal revenue generation. Effort, but at the same right? time, doing their work. Yeah. Another state that is um, doing very well in all of this is Lagos State. Mm. 
So and this is the, the this has shown me that when you look at the states where people have paid attention to this, there are fewer problems in those places. Okay. But when you see that the people are not paying attention to the details, then you find this clogging of problems in, in this. So many of the Board of Internal Revenue chairmen are now beginning to rise to the occasion. Um, some of them have gone ahead and taken over the responsibilities of making sure these licenses are dispatched, of contacting the people on the phone to say a license is ready, come back and do it and, you know, and take it. And we have seen an improvement. So what I've been telling them is that somebody needs to take ownership mm. of these responsibilities. Perhaps the Mabushi VIO Center yes. needs to yes, also needs hear all of this. Yes. And each time you go to that place, the, the site is itself very discouraging. You see huge number of people. Maybe... That maybe there's also need to decentralize it. Well, because that just single center in Abuja yes. uh, tells a lot. That's where everybody rushes to. Yeah, and then the, the site can be discouraging. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. So uh, the fallout of all of this, apart from the fact that when you want to do certain things, yes, you, you encounter these encumbrances. The other side to it is that this uh, uh, artificial bottleneck is also driving desperate people to, to the wrong hands. To the wrong hands. Yes. The, you are told that, oh, if you go to Mabuchi, you will get it. But you can get it within three days. It's also a place. And then they drive you to that place. And you buy into it. Lo and behold, it comes out truly in mm -hmm. three days. Mm. But at the end it's of fake. the day, you have been sold a dummy. Absolutely. And Which is sad. Invariably, mm. you are either a uh, party to a crime mm. or an accessory after. Yes. That's, that's the problem. That happens. Coincidentally, too, in those fake centers, we see your officers there. 